start building a website today with Squarespace and use squarespace.com slash cow to get 10% off. Are you tired of getting shut down when you're trying to spread the gospel? Do you want to win souls for Jesus? Well, you've come to the right place because this week on Messy Mondays, I'm going to tell you how to tell people about Jesus. First things first, you need to understand that Jesus is a very delicate flower, meaning he needs to be defended at all costs or else he gets his feelings hurt. I mean, he's only the son of God. He, he can't defend himself. Some idiot posted an article that goes against my beliefs. Time to get to work. Thank you, my son. At least somebody cares about me down there. <laughs> Bottom line, you are completely justified in whatever method you use to defend Jesus. Because listen, you are in the right. I mean, Jesus turned over tables that one time in the temple, so that gives you the right to get angry whenever you want to. L let's say that you come across a blasphemer saying something like this. Yeah, I think Jesus was a great man, but I don't think he was divine or anything like that, though. Oh, that guy. I, I think I've heard that one like a million times. You know, these people don't have minds of their own. They, they just repeat what they've heard other people say over and over and over again. Anyway, to refute it, use this classic line that works every time. Look, Jesus could have only been one of two things. Either he was a crazy person or he was who he said he is. Instant Christian! But okay, that's a pretty easy one. Let's make it a little more difficult, shall we? What if someone thinks that they're a good person? I don't believe that Bible stuff. I mean, I haven't murdered anyone. I don't steal things. In general, General, I'm a good person. I don't need saving. Oh, God, is that postmodern nonsense? It doesn't matter how much you think you're a good person. That doesn't mean that you're a good person. I think this clown needs a little First John 3:15. Hey, so have you ever hated anyone? Uh, yeah, sure. Who hasn't? Well, according to the Bible, if you hate someone, that means that you're a murderer. Which, according to your logic, means that you need a savior. <laughs> Instant Christian. And if they try and get all high and mighty about how they've never hated anyone, Matthew 5:28 was designed for such a time as this. I'm serious. I've never hated anyone. Well, have you ever lusted after a woman? Uh, uh yes. Ah, well, that means that you're an adulterer according to the Bible, which means that you need a savior. But I already told you that I don't believe the Bible, so why would I subscribe to its teachings about adultery? Doesn't matter. Instant Christian. Look, whether they want to hear it or not is beside the point. They need to hear it. So it's okay to be as aggressive as possible when sharing your faith. Get in people's faces. Okay, guys, I'm on the street doing the Lord's work, asking people the most important question that they will ever be asked in their lives. Excuse me, sir. Where will you go when you die? I get what you're doing, but I'm very busy. Look, what if a bus ran over you on your way to work? Where would you go? I'm very uncomfortable. Look, not as uncomfortable as you're going to be one day, buddy. Not as uncomfortable. It doesn't matter if your methods are even effective. All that matters is that you're there on the front line, fighting the good fight, even in the face of persecution. Like when someone unfriends you on Facebook or says something mean to you when you're right up in their face telling them the truth. You're doing it all for Jesus. Man, can you even imagine what Jesus will say to you when you get to heaven? After all that hard work that you did for him on earth? Well, your methods were totally ineffective. And you turned off just so many people to the idea of me, but boy, did you think you were doing the right thing, and that's all that really matters. Hey, if you're looking to start a blog or build a website, make sure you check out Squarespace. It's the easiest place on the internet to get a website up and running. It starts at eight bucks a month, and if you sign up for a year, you get a free custom domain. Their templates are really professional, it's very easy to use, and requires absolutely no coding. Which is good because I. I have no idea. So check it out at squarespace.com slash cow. And if you go there, you're going to get 10% off your first purchase. That's squarespace.com slash cow.